Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will going to show you how you can create the Power BI Sankey chart which is also the custom or the advanced chart within the Power BI. So this Sankey chart reveals a lot of interesting information and I will show you in a minute how you can create and interpret it. And before that just a quick information that uh, all the Power BI videos is present in this sheet where you can search any of the previously created video along with their respective link where you can jump directly to that video. This list is present within the description section along with another list where all the video other than Power BI if you see Tabli or Click you need to access. That list is present in the form of the Google Data Studio report which you can do the search and which you can do the search and find the videos of your interest. All right, now let's move on to the Power BI Sankey chart. All right, so here we are within Power BI and to create this chart, you need to have an access to the get more visuals, which you can access only with your official email ID or the email ID, which is other than the normal providers like the Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, you know, these common IDs won't work to register with the cat more visuals. You have to use either your official email ID or some other email ID which does not have these common domains and you can then go ahead and register. And when you click on the get more visual, it will going to take a couple of seconds to show you this window where you can do the search. So far, we have covered lot many different charts like the bullet or the word cloud. And today what we want is the thank it. So when I click thank you and click here on search, we have two options. So I will going to choose this one which has the tick mark. That means this visual is certified by Power BI. So when you, once you click on that, you will see that this is the visualization created by the Microsoft Corporation. And here is a quick glimpse of this. Down there you will see a description where it shows that with thank you, you can clearly find the sources and destination and steps. In between and how to uh, how the stuff flows across them so an interesting visualization which otherwise will going to take a lot of different calculations if you look at the other tools for example tablu and all you know you have to do a multiple uh, you have to specify multiple calculation to achieve this but here the good part is that uh, this is present as the custom visualization which you can just click on add since i have already added it i will not going to do that again but if you see this visualization Sankey 2.1.3 is my current visual, which if I click over here, you will see the visualization is present here. We need to do some configuration as to source, destination, destination labels, source labels and weight. So what do I want? Let's say for example, source, let's say what we have is the region. And uh, maybe for the destination, we want to understand how uh, various products of categories are being sold in various different regions. So what I'll do is I'll take the products of category as a destination. And if you will see, this is sort of a very complex visualization which has been created right now. So if I click over here on Northwest, you will see that multiple lines are being uh, driven or drawn uh, with respect to the multiple products of categories that we have. All right. Um, so what we do, what we want to do next is define the weights. So for example, the weight option here, I will going to choose the sales and this will going to help us interpret that if the weight of the line, for example, this line, the weight is pretty high and that is based on the sale. So for example, if I just click over here, you will see that, uh, various different products are being sold in this particular directory whereas this product office machine is being the highest one because it has the highest weight now this is one way of looking at the information where you can click on the region and uh, uh, that will show the connected dots with respect to the multiple product categories however you can click on a particular product category over here for example if i'm interested in looking at uh, in which regions office machines are being sold and with respect to the volume of the sales or the sales value so i'll click here 
and you will see very clearly that uh, west is the region in which highest sales is coming followed by the second one is here prior and so on and so forth for the rest of the one so this becomes really interesting because uh, in just one few clicks you are able to draw this complex visualization and not only that interpretation is very easy because of the weights which are being assigned over here Apart from this, what you have is a couple of formatting options, but very straightforward and in some of the advanced use case. So if I just go into the formatting, you have the option of enabling or disabling the, the data labels, which are here. You have the uh, data ink ratio or the data ink labels, which is, uh, you can enable or disable. I would not recommend, as you could see that there are like a lot of labels which are present here. And then you have the links. You can specify the coloring for each link. Over here, a lot of uh, links which has been established between these two categories is present over here. You can define other than what, what by default present over here. Uh, then you have some scale settings. Uh, there is an option of uh, providing the minimum optimal height of the node or log scale which I recommend to use it only in a spatial scenario where there is a lot of deviation in terms of high or low values. Other than that, you have the uh, cyclicals, cycles displaying, which is especially in case of the whether we want to show the duplicate nodes or draw backwarding. In scenarios like those, we can use this, but I'll just recommend that uh, you leave it blank. Other than that, what you see is the uh, general uh, formatting option for title for the background and uh, so on and so forth for the uh, for this particular visualization but uh, that's very quickly about uh, how this visualization really works and uh, maybe another very quickly i can just show you that you have the source you have the destination uh, you can change the source maybe with something else maybe you want to look at the customer segment so i'll just replace the region with the customer segment and very easily you are not you are now able to draw a different conclusion altogether so this visualization is very useful in scenarios where there is some sort of a relationship you want to establish and there is an impactful relationship you want to show to your end user which otherwise with the help of the tables or with the bars is not very clear or evident and based on the experimentation that you are doing with multiple charts if this chart is making sense to show the the relationship as well as comparison with other categories then this will go in a long way to understand the with the relationship between two data points in comparison with the other data points so this is very quickly about how you can create this sankey chart very easily within power bi and amaze your users so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.